Today, President Obama went to the nerve center of America's fight against terrorism to get a briefing on the threats made to the homeland during the holidays. Some members of Congress, though, blasted the administration's efforts to keep would-be terrorists out of the U.S. President Obama went to the National Counterterrorism Center outside Washington Thursday to review plans that would prevent future terror attacks in the U.S. At this moment, our intelligence and counterterrorism professionals do not have any specific and credible information about an attack on the homeland. That said, we have to be vigilant. The president said the country is facing a new phase of terrorist threats with self-directing attackers like the ones who carried out the San Bernardino massacre. We continue to do everything in our power to prevent terrorists from getting into the United States. But some members of Congress aren't convinced the White House is taking all the necessary steps. At a heated House hearing, no government official knew the location of the 122,000 people whose visas have been revoked since 9-11. 9,500 were tied to terrorists, and you don't have a clue who they are, do you? And there was bipartisan frustration that the federal government doesn't routinely include social media usage in immigrant background checks. If half the employers in America are doing that in the private sector, if your colleges are doing it for students, why the hell wouldn't Department of Homeland Security do it for someone coming from a terrorist country? DHS told Congress it is currently testing the use of social media to vet visa applicants. And the Department of Homeland Security told the Congressional Committee an estimated 400,000 people overstay their visas and do not leave the U.S. The government is working on measures to better track those people. Eleven have been arrested in the past year.